Hello, Ender Pokemon here again, and this time with uh, my first booster box of the new set, Dragons Exalted. Uh, six set in the black and white series, and just picked that up today, and so I'm going to be opening this. Haven't opened any of these uh, so far at all, so um, just took a kind of a brief look at what was in this set, and uh, but for the most part, I kind of wanted to not really go over the artwork, not really go over anything like that so that I can be surprised at seeing them for the first time here. So uh, first impressions, I don't really like this box too well. It's kind of got, I don't know, it's a weird mix of colors here. It's not very consistent. It's kind of like sea foamy into orange into green and whatever. I guess they're mimicking the various colors of the different uh, legendaries that they're kind of going after. It's kind of a mishmash though uh, in general, but who really cares? That's just the box itself. So uh, I've seen a few of the cards obviously and they do look pretty good. So I'll get right into that part of it. And again, I'll do like I normally do, split this into two parts, kind of do one side of the box first, split into a second part and then do that side. All up nice, so kind of start with this section here. Let's see, different pack types. So again, uh, pretty typical four different pack types that are there. You'll see these obviously a fair bit throughout, but those are the four. And uh, since I'm holding that one, let's start with uh, Terrakion or, or whatever, however you pronounce that. <clears throat> so first pack of Dragons Exalted. And they do have the online booster pack card things. I don't know if this actual set is available online yet. I know the last ones have taken a little while to actually get them up and running online. And I assume the card trick is still the same. No reason for me to think it's different. Uh, so first card is Yanma. Trubbish, the smelly Pokemon. Drifloon. Roselia. Magmar, bring in a little bit. Sock. The special energy. So uh, this one's kind of weird, it's blend energy. This card provides basic energy, and when it's attached to a Pokemon, it can provide fire, lightning, fighting, and metal energy, but only one at the at the time at a time. So basically, there's two of these cards. I think that each of them do basic, then plus some other uh, set of energies, and so it basically counts as any one of these. So kind of an interesting mechanic and I could see that really replacing a lot of people's energies in their decks that they won't need say basic and this type. I don't know how limited you are whether this counts as just uh, whatever. I guess you can have four of these as opposed to unlimited or whatever. I don't think it just counts as a basic energy since it is a special energy but that would definitely certainly replace uh, a lot of people's energy in their uh, in their deck. Whalmer here. Garchomp is the shiny. And they kind of got a neat little holographic background to that. And I don't know how well that is. I guess you can kind of see it on camera there, just looking over my shoulder at it. So it's kind of got the textured background to it. Um, just kind of matching. Again, they've got the weird like subtype up here, obviously, uh, obviously dragon types that they're doing, so it's kind of got the dragon type background on that, so that's kind of neat to see. And uh, Gullark is our first uh, rare, and again, a hollow rare. It's kind of got the, they've gone back to like the lined uh, holographic, so it's almost like little lines behind them, and then with his body stamped on top of that. And so again, I don't know how well that can be seen, but uh, there you go.
I always think that's weird. They, they change the way they do holographics and stuff like that so frequently, but they it's not always just in a straight line. They kind of go back to ways that it used to be sometimes. So they've gone back to like the little liney type thing, it, but then kind of have the matte print on top of that that looks kind of neat and makes it stand out. Uh, Wormpole, we got Gibble, Roselli again, Slack off. Ninkata, throw, bunch of throws, Swellius, I like kind of the background on some of these, it looks a, a little neater on the, uh, again on the dragon type. You got a giant cape, a uh, Pokemon attached to this card gets 20 hit points, plus 20 hit points. Gabite, again another nice little dragon background, and our rare is Yon Mega. And that one's just plain, not not holographic there, but but still all right. All right, we got electric, dino, ball toy. Bidoof, Rufflet, Roserade, Floatzel, weird, weird Pokemon, Zwellius again, Zwellus, Murkrow, so that one is uh, obviously just darkness, darkness type, so again it's got the same symbol there in the background that probably people have seen that one before, just the dragon type is new. And Clay Doll is the rare, and again, not a not a hollow rare or anything, just kind of normal, normal rare. Here we got Trubbish. Drifloon, Roselia, Magmar, Fungus, Gabite, Red Scarf, which uh, if the Pokemon this card is attached to is knocked out by damage from an attack, put that Pokemon into your hand. So that's kind of interesting. Yeah, and you discard all the cards attached to it, but you basically just put your Pokemon back in the hand, so that's fairly useful. Uh, Devolution Spray, devolve one of your evolved Pokemon and put the highest state evolution card on it into your hand. And that Pokemon can't re-evolve again this turn. That's kind of interesting. I'm kind of wondering how that works. Um, say that your Pokemon is really damaged and you want to take the highest evolution off of it. Does that then knock out the lowest evolution if it doesn't have enough hit points or something like that? I guess it can be used to save, kind of save the top level of your, of your Pokemon so that you can use it on another evolution coming up if it was, say, about to get knocked out or something. I'm not sure what situations you would use that in exactly. Swablu there with the nice uh, basic sort of background. And I'm sure that uh, people are seeing Pika behind here Obviously, I've got something going on. I actually felt that in my hand when I was doing the card trick. This card feels a little slicker than the others, so I kind of knew something was coming up. But let's see what our first uh, rare is going to be. And it is... That's pretty much the one you'd want it to be, uh, I guess, except for the... Uh, I guess there's two or three versions of this in this deck, but uh, Rayquaza EX. That's basically what you're kind of looking for in this set. And uh, not the full art, of course, but just the basic EX here. But still quite happy with uh, seeing that as my first EX pull out of this box. So that's uh, pretty much excellent. The, there's some very expensive versions of, uh, I think there are three versions of this card, if I'm not mistaken. There's like an EX, a full art EX, and then like, 
an ultra rare version of it at the end that's like 128 out of 124. I think there's all three. There may only be the two of them, but I'm pretty sure that there are actually uh, more than that. So that's awesome to see right off the bat. I'm pretty psyched already. I already feel like this is a good box, even if there was uh, basically nothing else in it. But of course there will be. I tend to get pretty lucky with uh, getting like at least one or two of the rarest ones as a pull out of these boxes. Um, like I was able to get both of the Dark Rise, I was able to get both of the Mewtwo's out of the last two sets and they tend to be the more expensive uh, things going on so it's good to get those out of the way and then you can collect some of the some of the cheaper stuff. Uh, Vulpix here, a Dino, Tim Pole, Bidoof, Murkrow, Throw again, Gabites and a few of those, Skiploom, Gyarados, and that is the reverse with nice little watery droplets going around. And Manectric is our rare. So I don't know what the ratios on cards in this uh, this box or anything is. Usually I guess there's what, like two EXs, possibility of something ultra rare, uh, something like that. I'm not really sure what what the actual uh, ratios are supposed to be, but I guess we'll find out what it is for this box. Phoebus, Spiel, weird, weird little Pokemon. Drifloon, Murkrow again, Yanma, Skunk, Skuntank, Flaffy, Ninjask, weird little Scarab Pokemon, Tim Pole, again a uh, reverse water there. And our rare is Roserade. And normal rare going on there. Here we get a nose pass. Again, just one of the weirdest Pokemon in the world. I don't really know what, what's going on with this guy. Just a weird, weird concept. What is this even based on? Like a head from Easter Island with a bunch of fins and little short legs or something like that. Just a weird fella. Uh, Feebas, Cubone, Gathita, Gotlet, Durant, Ninjask, Figaroth, Mareep, Mareep sitting there in his reverse hollow, looking like he's in some sort of weird virtual virtual environment and like computer designed or something like that. That's kind of a weird, weird setting. Usually you see him so cartoony and fluffy. That's uh, very odd, but interesting. And our rare is Gothitelle. Crow again, Golet, Woozle, Drifloon, Electric, Leron, Bouffalant, Cascoon, again just a weird Pokemon. It seems kind of like the entire thing would just be completely stationary, so uh, not very good to carry around. Roselia is a reverse, and the rare, rare is Braviary. A little concerned about this one. This almost looks damaged or something. I hope the cards aren't bad inside. I'll see how they look. But weirdly folded up pack there. I guess they look okay. No little marks or anything on them. I was worried that the middle would be all bent up. So here we've got Rufflet, Gibble, 
Weasel, Aaron, Wormple, I, I do know, Durant, Special Energy, that is the same one as before, Celio, the awesome whale into a walrus into a seal sort of Pokemon, there with the uh, water reverse again, and Manectric is the rare. So I think there's a couple versions of him there in this set. Must be. I find myself subconsciously now trying to feel for whether or not there's a uh, EX as I move those cards. Dino, Feebas, Spiel, Drifloon. Which what is he? Is he like a punching bag with hearts for his hands or something like that? There's like no description on this, no nothing. He just does beat and gust. Just very, very basic little fella. Murkrow, Cascoon, Tool Scrapper. So you choose up to two Pokemon tool cards attached to Pokemon in play, yours or your opponent's, and discard them. Interesting. I guess, to clean other Pokemon of tools. Uh, Roselia, Gibble Reverse. And again, that nice dragon type uh, background. And Agron is the rare, and that one is again a hollow rare. And you just can't see that too well. It's just that line type text. I can't even see it on this side at all. Just back here a little bit. So. Eh, a little bit lackluster on those. I like the reverse hollows in this. They look pretty neat, although very much the same as the last uh, last set. But not a huge fan of just those hollows. It's a little, a little underwhelming, I guess, uh, compared to the way some of them have been in the past. But I'll see how more look. The, generally... The more kind of background there is showing, the more you can see the hollow effect in it. So we'll see how those look as we go along. So Trubbish, Magmar, Aeron, Dino, Swablu, Boldor, Giant Cape again, Celio, and Pharos is our reverse. And Rare is Sigalyph. And that one again, you can see the hollow a little better on, but it's not, just not the best. It's just not really, really awesome. It doesn't jump at you. If you're holding it in a certain light, you can't really even see it. You almost have to do the shaking before you can even tell what it is. Whereas I found some of the series, it really does hop out at you. But in these fairly recent ones, all the really cool artwork obviously is in the EXs, the full art, um, that sort of thing. Good. Electric, Magikarp, Gibble, Timpole, Dino, Devolution Spray, Bibarel, Gotharita, Durant, is the reverse, and that's the metal reverse. And Shedinja is our rare card. And again, see, I had to check if it was hollow. It is not. And someone's trying to call me. I'll get back to them later. Stunky, Rogan Rolla, Hopip, Houndor, Mareep again in his weird virtual environment, Bibarel, Special Energy again, the Blend Energy, uh, and we're getting the same one again. I think there is another type, so hope to come along that. Swablu, Rufflet Reverse, and our rare is Garchomp. And I think I had had that in the reverse a little earlier. Get 
Swablu again, a couple of versions of him. Vulpix, Dino, Tim Pole, Bidoof, Floatzel, Palpitoad, Tool Scrapper, Houndor. Oh, I always do this with the darkness ones. It's so hard to see when they're just static that it doesn't uh, really show you the background, but of course that is the reverse uh, Houndor. And Drifthlim, just another weird inanimate object turned into some random hot air balloon or something like that. Interesting, but uh, I guess they've just run out of animals in the world or something like that. And eventually they come up with that sort of thing. I saw a neat analysis lately, though, that we always have the impression that in Generation 4 and 5 and stuff, there's way more of these inanimate object type Pokemon than there have ever been. But uh, it's actually fairly close. When you go back and look, out, look at what percentage was kind of what over the uh, generations, it's actually fairly similar. It's within like three to five Pokemon difference out of each kind of 150 type set. Um, there's not that many more inanimate object type Pokemon than there were. It just kind of maybe feels that way sometimes. Or maybe they're based off slightly more ridiculous things than they used to. But uh, always interesting to see what they come up with. Uh, Swablu there, Electric, Magikarp, Gibble, Timpole, Wilmer, Gabite, Rescue Scarf, Cubone Reverse, but to beat you up. And Probopass, just again, one of the weirdest things in the world. <laughs> just a huge rock with a huge nose, and let's give him a mustache or some thing like that. Just, just bizarre, but uh, always interesting to look at. Gibble, obviously something behind there. Cubone, Rufflet, Yanma, Nose Pass again, looking silly. Rescue Scarf, Sock, looking all tough. Aduno, Hydri Hydreigon, and that one again is the uh, the reverse, so kind of neat, like. At least over half of the reverses I've got seem to have been this uh, dragon type so far. And let's see what we've got behind here. Giratina EX. That's pretty awesome. So 92 out of 124 there. Pretty cool artwork. That's pretty multicolored going on. That definitely makes up for like any of the... Uh, the hollow ones that they say are a little lackluster or anything like that. These definitely uh, kind of put everything else just kind of to shame. Um, even the ones like this that aren't like the full art, they still basically take up the full card. You could like mistake them basically for full art for the amount uh, of space that they actually uh, actually take up. That's awesome. And so got a three more packs left in this side. Got two AXs so far, pretty good. Good. Buizo, Aaron, Wormple, Vulpix stretching out, Swablu, Swellus. Skuntank, Aduno, Devolution Spray Reverse, and Houndoom is our rare. Magikarp, the best Pokemon ever. 
Mancino screaming and he always looks like so excited and upset in every card. He always looks like he's about to just absolutely freak out. Fungus doing something weird. Spiel. Drifloon. Vigoroth. Sock. Special energy again, the same type of energy. I'm starting to doubt myself whether there actually is another kind of these, but I'm virtually certain I saw one. But I think this is our fourth of this one and none of the other type yet. There's the Spiel Reverse. And Honchkrow is our rare. Last pack for this side. Get Nose Pass. Rubbish, Magmar, Heron, Dino, Maractus, Roserade. There it is. So the special energy, blend energy, the other type that now has Psychic, Fire, Darkness, uh, Grass, and obviously still basic energy on top of it. And same basic rule, but I knew that there was another type to that. So there it is. And the reverse is Sock, with our rare being seismitoad all glory to the seismitoad so uh that's it for this uh side of the box i guess so just to recap kind of the awesomeness that uh has been received so far basically comes down to these two ex cards that are just exploding with basically all kinds of different weird colors in them but uh giratina and Requaza. Rayquaza and uh, pretty awesome there. So both basic EXs, uh, not the full art, but uh, definitely psyched to get this one in particular. I think it's quite rare and the one that people are kind of looking out to get. It's kind of almost every set seems to have like a headliner and uh, he definitely seems to be the headliner for, uh, for this set. So glad to get those and um, cutting to part two. Keep watching for the second half of this box and hopefully come up with some awesome pulls going forward.